Hello all and welcome to tonight's tour portion. Before we get started, I'm going to say a customary blessing. Blessed art thou, Don I am he, King of the Universe, who chose, who gave us the Torah of truth to set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Don I give the Torah, Bukata Donai Alini, Malakalo, Machinatalanu, Tarebet Bai Shalom, the Tarebet Hini, Bukata Donai, and Atin Hatarab. We're going to be reading Psalms. Which ones are we reading? We go read the whole thing. Okay, I guess we're reading a whole book of Psalms. Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or take the path that sinners tread, or sit in a seat of scoffers, but their delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law they meditate day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, which yield their fruit in its season, and their leaves do not wither. In all that they do they prosper. <coughs> the wicked are not so, but are like chaff in the wind that the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, by the way of the wicked will perish. Why do the nations conspire and the people plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and his anointed, saying, Let us burst their bonds asunder and cast their cords from us. He who sits in the heaven laughs. The Lord has them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill. I will tell of the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son. Today you have begotten me. Hang on, sorry. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will take the nation, and I will make the nation your heritage, and the ends of the earth your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore, O kings, be wise, be warned, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, with trembling, kiss his feet, or he will be angry, and you will perish in the way. For his wrath is quickly kindled. Happy are all who take refuge in him. O Lord, how many are my foes? Many are rising against me. Many are saying to me, There is no help for you in God. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cry aloud to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy hill. I lie down and sleep. I wake up again, for the Lord sustains me. I am not afraid of ten thousand of people who have set themselves against me all around. Rise up, O Lord, deliver me, O my God, for you strike all my enemies on the cheek. You break the teeth of the wicked. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. May your blessing be on your people. Answer me when I call, O God of my right. <coughs> You gave me room when I was in distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. How long, you people, shall my honor suffer shame? How long will you love vain words and seek after lies? But know that the Lord has set apart the faithful for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. When you are disturbed, do not sin. Ponder, on, ponder it on your beds and be silent. Offer right sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, Oh, that we might see some good. Let the light of your face shine on us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when their grain and wine abound. I will both lie down and sleep in peace, for you alone, O Lord, make me lie down in safety. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry. My King, my God, for unto thee I pray. My voice in the morning, O Lord, in the morning. Will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up? For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hastest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak of leasing. 
the Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come unto thy house in the multitude of thy mercy, and in thy fear will I worship toward the holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in the righteousness. Because of mine enemies, make thy way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth, and their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sculpture. They flatter with their tongue. Destroy them. O God, let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because they defended them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thy Lord will bless the righteousness, will favor will thou compass him as with a shield. O oh Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. Be gracious to me, O oh Lord, for I am languishing. O oh Lord, heal me. For my bones are shaking with terror. My soul is my soul also is struck with terror while you, O oh Lord, how long? Turn, O oh Lord, save my life. Deliver me for the sake of your steadfast love, for in death there is no remembrance of you. And Sheol, who can give you praise? I am weary with my moaning, and every night I flood my bed with tears. I trench my couch with my weeping. My eyes waste away because of grief. They grow weak because of all my foes. Depart from me, all of you workers of evil. For the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be ashamed and struck with terror, they shall turn back in a moment of pure shame. O Lord my God, in, in, in you I have, I take refuge. Save me from my pursuers and deliver me, or like a lion they will tear me apart, they will drag me away with no one to rescue. O Lord my God, if I have done this, if they, if there is wrong in my hands, if I have repaid my ally with harm or plundered my foe without cause, then let the enemy pursue and overtake me. Trample my life to the ground and lay my soul to the dust. Rise up, O Lord, in your anger. Lift yourself up against the fury of my enemies. Awake, O my Lord. You have appointed it in judgment. Let the assembly of the peoples be gathered around you. And over it, take your seat on high. The Lord judges the peoples. Judge, judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to the integrity that is in me. O oh, let the evil of the wicked come to an end. But establish the righteous, you who test the minds and hearts of righteous God. God is my shield, who gives the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge, a God who has indignation every day. If one does not repent, God will wet his sword. If he has been and strung his bow, he has prepared his deadly weapons, making his arrows fiery shafts. See how they conceive evil and are pregnant with mischief and bring forth lies. They make a pit, digging it out, fall in, and fall into the hole that they have made for me. Their mischief returns upon their own heads, and on their own heads their violence descend. I will give to the Lord the thanks due to his righteousness. 
and I sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. How majestic is your name in all the earth, O Lord! You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants you have found a bulwark because of your foes, to silence the enemy of the avenger. When I took you all at when I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? Yet you have made them a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them dom a dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea. Whatever passes along the paths of the seas, O Lord, Sovereign, Earth Sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the years. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turned back, they stumbled and perished before you. For you have maintained <coughs> my just cause. You have sat on a throne giving righteous judgment. You have rebuked the nations. You have destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. The enemies have vanished in everlasting ruins. Their cities you have rooted out. The very memory of them has perished. But the Lord sits enthroned forever and has established his throne for judgment. He judges the world with righteousness. He judges the people with iniquity. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Declare his deeds among the peoples, for he who avenges blood is mindful of them. He does not forget the cries of the afflicted. Be gracious, be gracious to me, O Lord. See what I suffer from those who hate me. You are the one who lifts me up from the gates of death, so that I may recount all your praises. And in the gates of daughter Zion rejoice in your deliverance. The nations have sunk in the pit that they made, and in a net they have hid has their own foot been caught. The Lord has made himself known. He has executed judgment. The wicked are snared in the work of their own hands. The wicked shall depart the shield, all the nations that forgot, forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor never, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Rise up, O Lord, do not let mortals prevail. Let the nations be judged before you. Put them in fear, O Lord. Let the nations know that they are only human. Why, O Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In ignorance, the wicked persecute the poor. Let them be caught in the schemes they have devised. For the wicked boast of the desires of their heart. Those greedy for grain curse and renounce the Lord. In the pride of their continence, the wicked say, God will not seek it out. All their thoughts are, there is no God. Their ways prosper at all times. <clears throat> Your judgments are on high, out of their sight. As for their foes, they scoff at them. They think in their heart, we shall not be moved. Throughout all generations, we shall not beat adversity. Their mouths are filled with cursing and deceit and oppression. Under their tongues are mischief and iniquity. They sit in ambush in the village, in the villages, in hiding places. They murder the innocent. Their eyes stealthily watch for the helpless. They lurk in secret like a lion in its covert. They lurk that they may seize the poor. They seize the poor and drag them off in their net. They stoop, they crouch, and the helpless fall by their midst. They think in their hearts, God is forgotten. 
He has hidden his face. He will never see it. Rise up, O Lord, O God. Lift up your hand. Do not forget the oppressed. Why do the wicked renounce God and say in their hearts, You will not call us to account? But you do see. Indeed, you know trouble and grief. That you may take it into your hands, the helpless commit themselves to you, and have been the helper of the orphaned. Break the arm of the wicked and evildoers. Seek out their wickedness until you find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nation shall perish from his land. O Lord, you will hear the desire of the meek, and you will strengthen their heart. You will incline your ear to do justice for the orphan and for the oppressed, so that those from earth may strike terror no more. And the Lord put I my trust, how say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain. For lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the string, that they may prevailly shoot at the upright and heart. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in the holy temple, the Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids strive, the children of men. The Lord trieth the righteousness, but the wicked in him that loveth violence, his soul is hated. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Lord loveth righteousness, his continuance doth behold the upright. Help, Lord, for the godly man seizes for the full faithful from faithful fail from among the children of men. They speak of vanity, every one of his neighbors. With flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Who have said with our tongue? Well, we prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor, for the sighing of the needy. Now I will I arise, saith the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that pooh at him. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side, when the vilest men are exhaled. How long, O Lord, will you for, uh, forget be, will you forgive me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul, and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemies be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death, and my enemy will say I have prevailed, and my foes will rejoice because I have shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. Fools say in their hearts there is no God. They are corrupt. They do abominable deeds. They did not, uh, there is not, uh, no one who does good. The Lord looks down from heaven on humankind to see if there is any who are wise who seek after God. They have all gone astray. They are all alike perverse. They do. Uh, there is no one who does good. No, not one. They have they no knowledge. All, all the evil doers who eat up my people as they eat bread, do and do not call upon the Lord. There they shall be in great terror, for God is with the company of the righteous. You would confound the plans of the poor, but the Lord is their refuge. On that deliverance 
for Israel would come from Zion. When the, the Lord restores the fortunes of his people, Jacob will rejoice and Israel will be glad. 15. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in the holy hill? He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that backbiddeth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a vile person is contemned, but he honoreth them that fear the Lord. He that sweareth to his own hurt that changeth not. He that putteth not out his money to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent, he that doeth these things shall never be moved. 16. Protect me, O God, for it is for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the holy ones in the land, they saw the noble, in whom is all my delight. Those who chose another god multiply their sorrows, they drink offerings of blood. I will not pour out or take their names upon my lips. The Lord is my chosen portion in my cup. You hold my lot. The boundary lines have fallen for me in the pleasant places. I have goodly heritage. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel in the night, and also my heart instructs me. I keep the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, and my soul rejoices. My body also rests secure. For you do not give me up to Sheol. Or let your faithful ones see the pit. You show me the path of life, and in your presence there is fullness of joy. And your heart, hands, and your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 17. Hear a just cause, O Lord, attend to my cry. Give ear to my prayer from lips of free lips free of deceit. For you let my vindication come. Let your eyes see the right. If you try my heart, if you visit me by night, if you test me, you will find no wickedness in me. My mouth does not transgress. As for what others do, by the word of your lips. I have avoided the ways of the violent. My steps are held fast to your past. My feet have not slipped. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my words. Wondrously show your steadfast love, O Savior of those who seek refuge from their ad adversaries at your right hand. Guard me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings from the from the wicked who despoil me, my deadly enemies who surround me. They close their hearts to pity with their mouths. They speak arrogantly. They track me down. Now they surround me. They set their eyes to cast me to the ground. They are like a lion eager to tear, like a young lion lurking in ambush. Rise up, O Lord. Confront them. Overthrow them. By your sword, deliver my life from the wicked, from mortals. By your hand, O Lord, from mortals. Mortals? whose portion in life is in this world. May their belly be filled with what you have stored up for them. May their children have more than enough. May they leave something over to their little ones. As for me, I shall behold your face in righteousness. When I awake, I shall be satisfied beholding your likeness. 18. What do you want me to go? Uh, I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God, my rock, in whom I take refuge. My shield and the horn of my salvation. My stronghold, I call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So I shall be saved from my enemies. The cords of death encompassed me. The torrents of perdination uh, assails me. The cords of shale entangle me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I call upon the Lord. To my uh, to my God, I cried for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. 
and my cry to him reached his ears. Then the earth reeled and rocked, the foundations also of the mountains trembled and quaked because he was angry. Smoke went up from his nostrils and devouring fire from his mouth. Glowing coals flamed forth from him. He bowed the heavens and came down. Thick darkness was under his feet and he rode on a cherubim or a cherub and flew. He came swiftly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness of, uh, of covering around him. His canopy, thick clouds, dark with water. Out of the brightness before him there broke through the clouds hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens and the Most High uttered his voice, and he sent out his arrows and scattered them. He flashed forth lightning and, and routed them. Then the channels of the sea were seen, and the foundations of the world were laid bare. At your rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of, of the breath of your nostrils, he reached down on, from on high, and he took me. He drew me out of the mighty waters and delivered me from my strong enemy and from those who hated me, for they were, they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into a broad place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness according to the dark and to the cleanness of my hands and they com com recompensed me for I have kept the way of the Lord and I have not wickedly departed from my God for all of those ordinances that were before me and his statues I did not put away from me statues I did not put away from me I was blameless before him, and I kept myself from guilt. Therefore the Lord has recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanliness of my hands in his sight. With the loyal you show yourself loyal, with the blameless you show yourself blameless, with the pure you show yourself pure, and with the crooked you show yourself perverse. For you deliver a humble people, but the haughty eyes you bring down. It is you who light my lamp. The Lord my God lights up my darkness. By you I can crush a troop, but by God I can leap over a wall. This God, his way is perfect. The promise of the Lord provides truth. He is a shield for all who take refuge in him, for who is God except the Lord, who is a rock besides our God, the God who girded me with strength and made my way safe. He made my feet like the feet of a deer and set me secure in the height. He trained my hands for war so that my arms can bend a bow for it the bow of bronze. You have given me the shield of your salvation, and your right hand has supported me. You help, your help has made me great. You gave me a wide place for my, for my steps under me, when my feet did not slip. I pursued my enemy and overtook them, and did not turn back until they were consumed. I struck them down so that they were not able to rise. They fell under my feet, for you girded me with strength for the battle. You made my assailants sink under me. You made my enemies turn their backs to me. And those who hated me I destroyed. They cried for help, but there was no one to save them. They cried to the Lord, but he did not answer them. I beat them fine like dust before the wind. I cast them out like the mire of the streets. 
You delivered me from the strife of the peoples. You made me head of the nations. People whom I had not known served me. As the people, as soon as, as soon as they heard of me, they obeyed me. Foreigners came cringing to me. Foreigners lost heart and came trembling out of their stronghold. The Lord lives, blessed be my rock, and exalt, exalted be the God of my salvation, the God who gave me vengeance and subdued people under me, who delivered me from my enemies, indeed you exalted me above my adversaries. You delivered me from violence, for this I will extol you, O Lord, among the nations, and sing praise to your name, great trumpets, your great triumphs, he gives it to his king and shows steadfast love to his anointed, to David and his descendants forever. 19. The heavens are telling the glory of God. The firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night declares knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words. Their voice is not heard. Yet the, their voice goes out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In the heavens he has set a tent for the sun, which comes out like a bridegroom from his wedding canopy, and like a strong man runs its course with joy. It's, it's rising from the end of the heavens, and its circuit to the end of them, and nothing is hid from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey, and dripping of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In keeping them there is great reward. But who can deter... Sorry. Who can detect their errors? Clear me from hidden faults. Keep back your servants also from the insolent. Do not let them have dominion over me. Th then I shall be blameless, and innocent and great, tr innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord, my Rock and my Redeemer. Twenty. The Lord answer you in the day of trouble. My name is. The God of Jacob, sorry, the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offering and regard with favor your burnt sacrifices. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. May we shout for joy over your victory and in the names of our God set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now that I know that the Lord will help his anointed, he will answer him from his holy heaven. With mighty victories by his right hand. Some take pride in chariots and some in horses, but our pride is in the name of the Lord our God. They will collapse and fail, but we will rise and stand upright to give victory to the King, O oh Lord. Answer us when we call. 21. In your strength the king rejoices, O Lord, and in your help how greatly he exalts. You have given him his heart's desire, and have not withheld the request of his lips. For you meet him with rich blessing. You have set a crown of fine gold on his head. He asked you for life. You gave it to him. Length of days forever and ever. His glory is great through your help. Splendor and majesty you bestow on him. You bestow on him blessings forever. You make him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord, and through the steadfast love of the Most High he shall not be moved. My hand will find out all your enemies. Your right hand will find out all those who hate you. You will make them like a fiery furnace when you appear. The Lord will swallow them up in his wrath, and fire will consume them. 
You will destroy their offspring from the earth and their children from among humankind. If they plan evil against you, if, you, if they devise mischief, they will not succeed, for you will put them to flight. You will aim at their faces with your bows. Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your power. 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me? From the words of my groaning, O oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praise of, praises of Israel, and you, our ancestors, trusted, and they, they trusted you, and you, deliver, uh, and you delivered them. To you they cried and were saved. To you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am worn and not, uh, and not human, scorned by others and despised by the people. All who see, my, see me mock me. They make uh, mouths at me, and they shake their heads. All who see me mock me. They, okay. Commit to your uh, commit your cause to the Lord. Let him deliver. Let him rescue the one in whom he delights. Yet it was you who took me from the womb. You kept me safe on my mom's mother's breast. On you, I was cast from my birth. Since my mother bore me, you have been my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no one to help. Many bulls encircle me. Strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me, like a, ra a raving and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it is melting with my breast. My mouth is dried up like a pot shirt, and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death, for dogs are all around me. A company of evil doers encircle me. My hands and feet have shriveled, and I count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among themselves, and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far away. O oh, my help, come quickly to my aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, my life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion, for the horns of the wild oxen, you have rescued me. I will tell of your name to my brothers and sisters in the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him. Stand in awe of him. All you offspring of Israel, for he did not despise or abhor the affliction of the afflicted. He did not hide his face from me, but hear, heard when I cried to him. For when you come to my praise, or from, come, from you comes my praise in the great con congregation. My vows I will pray. And I'll pay before those who fear me, or fear him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. And, and may your hearts live forever. At the end of the earth shall remember and turn to the right, uh, turn to the Lord. And all the families of the nations shall worship before him. For dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. To him indeed shall all who sleep in the earth bow down. Before him shall 
bow all who go down to the dust, and I shall live for them. Posterity will serve them. Future generations will be told about the Lord and proclaim his deliverance to a people yet unborn, saying that he has done it. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. 24. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath found it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place? He that have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face of Jacob. It's a lot. Lift up your hands, ye gates, and be lift up the everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your hands, lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of Glory. Salah. 25. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Do not let me be put to shame. Do not let my enemies exult over me. Do not let those who wait for you be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth. And teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. Be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and of your steadfast love, for they have been from old. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember in me for your goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his ways. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast, love and faithfulness. For those who keep his covenant and his decrees. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Who are they that fear the Lord? He will teach them the way that they should choose. They will abide in prosperity, and their children shall possess the land. Their, the friendship of the Lord is for those who fear Him, and He makes His covenant known to them. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for He will pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me, and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart, and bring me out of my distress. Consider my affliction and my trouble, and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my foes. And with that violent hatred, they hate me. O oh, guard my life and deliver me. Do not let me be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. My integrity and my uprightness preserve me, for I wait for you. Redeem Israel, O oh God, out of all of its troubles. 26. Vindicate me, O Lord. 
For I have walked in my integrity, and I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Prove me, O Lord, and try me. Test my heart and mind, for your steadfast love is before my eyes, and I walk in faithfulness to you. I do not sit with, with the worthless, nor do I consort with the hypocrites. I hate the company of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. I wash my hands in innocence and go around your altar. O oh Lord, singing aloud a song of thanksgiving and telling all your wondrous deeds. O oh Lord, I love the house in which you dwell, in a place where your glory abides. Do not sweep me away with the sinners, nor my life with the bloodthirsty, those in whose hands are evil devices, and those who, whose right hands are full of bribes. But as for me, I walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be gracious to me. My foot stands on level ground. In the great congregation, I will bless the Lord. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me too to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Their war shall rise against me, and this will I be confident. One thing I have, I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, and the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock, and now shall mine head be lifted up upon my enemies round about me. There will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord. When I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou saidest, seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, The face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help, leave me not. Another forsake me, O God, of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me the way, O Lord, and lend me in a plain path because of my enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies, for the false witnesses are risen up against me, and such a breath out cruelty. I have fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, of, on the Lord. 28. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord my rock, be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down unto the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward the holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors. But mischief is in their hands. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their, dis their desert. Because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them, and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him. And I helped, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth. With my song will I praise him. The Lord is 
their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also, and lift them up forever. Psalm 29. Ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength, ascribe to the Lord the glory of his name. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the God of glory thunders. The Lord over mighty waters, the voice of the Lord is powerful, the voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The Lord, the, the voice of the Lord breaks the cedars of, Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf. And Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord flashes forth flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord causes the oaks to whirl, and strips the forest bare. And in His temple all say glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as King forever. May the Lord give strength to His people. May the Lord bless His people with peace. <coughs> I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up, and did not let my foes rejoice over me, O Lord, my God. I cried to you for help, and you have healed me. O Lord, you brought up my soul from Sheol, restored me to life from among those gone down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, O you, his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name, for his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may linger for the night, but joy comes with the morning. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O Lord, you had established me as a strong mountain. You hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried, and to the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my death if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be gracious to me, O Lord. Be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have taken off my sackcloth and my, and clothed me with joy, so that my soul may praise you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock for a horse, for a house of defense to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, my namesake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me. For thou art my strength. Into thy hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in anniversaries, and hast not shut me up unto the hand of the enemy. Thou hast set my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with grief, ye, my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing, my strength faileth because of my iniquity, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to mine acquaintance, they that did see me without fled from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mine. I am like a broken vessel, for I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side. While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. But I trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from them that persecute me. 
Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and continuously against the righteousness. O oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wronged for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of the presence from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he hath shewed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said my hassle, I am cut off from before thy eyes. Nevertheless, thou heardest the voice of my supplications when I cried unto thee. O love the Lord, all ye his saints, for the Lord preserveth the faithful and plentiful reward of the proud doer. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. Psalm 32 Happy are those whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Happy are those to whom the Lord imputes no iniquity, and in those whose spirit there is no deceit. While I kept silence, my body wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was dried up as by the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, and did not hide my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilty of my sin. Therefore let all who are faithful offer prayer to you. At the time of distress, the rush of mighty waters shall not reach them. You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with glad cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you shall go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Do not be like a horse or a mule without understanding, whose temper must be curbed with bit and bridle, else it will not stay near you. Many are the torments of the wicked, but steadfast love surrounds those who trust in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, O righteous, and shout for joy, all your upright in heart. Alright, let's pause there. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who gives the Torah of truth instead of everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, give the Torah of Brukat Adonai and Hini Malach alone, and Shana Tun Lenu, Lenu, Turi, Med Vaish, Elom, Nathabet, Elom, Nathabet, Kinu, Brukat Adonai, Natin, Atara. Well, that concludes this video. I'll see you in the next video.